Uh, in this video, I'm going to uh, to present uh, AHP carbon content tester, how it works, and uh, uh, we will take a look at uh, briefly in the standard ISO uh, 6964. Uh, I will show you how uh, you will measure the carbon content of polyolefin um, plastics using this uh, tester. Based on this standard, uh, we need to uh, measure a specific weight of the material, that is uh, exactly one gram, and weight it uh, to the nearest uh, 0 0.1 milligram approximately 1 gram of material will be weighted and we will put it in this uh, boat sample boat it's a ceramic sample boat and also be noted that the furnace need to be uh, capable of uh, preparing 900 uh, plus minus 50 degrees centigrade uh, for this purpose, the uh, the tube of uh, the furnace need to be uh, quartz, and also the furnace will be capable of supplying uh, uh, something about one thousand degrees centigrade. Uh, what what we will do in this uh, test is that we will measure one gram of the um, polyolefin material, put it in the sample boat. Then, before starting the, the, the furnace uh, up to the first temperature, the first temperature level is uh, uh, 550 plus minus 50 degrees centigrade. We will start the furnace and also start the nitrogen purge in the tube. As you see here, the gas will come to the uh, unit through this input. This input is the input of the uh, glass rotameter. It's a flow meter actually. And the range of the flow meter is up to 260 uh, milliliter per minute. Then after, from the exit of this rotameter, it will come to the trap. The trap will be, uh, will be including uh, um, pyrogallo. Uh, I will uh, show you how you will need to prepare this uh, solution. Also here we have a YouTube that is including uh, silica gel uh, for dehumidizing the uh, gas. Then the gas will be input to the uh, tube. As you see the tube can uh, go into the end cap and you can take it out easily. So, uh, the first uh, temperature level is, is 550 degrees centigrade. At first, you will need to start the um, furnace, warm it up to this temperature. Also, before putting the sample, need to uh, run the, the nitrogen purge. Uh, the quartz tube need to be empty from oxygen and also air actually uh, after waiting the sample you will slide this tube in this direction <coughs> you, will, you will put the sample inside the uh, holder this is sample holder here then pushing the quartz tube toward the end cap like this be noted before um, putting the sample in the middle of the tube you need to open the uh, nitrogen gas uh, purge nitrogen gas purge in this stage will be 200 uh, cubic centimeter per minute as you see in this standard uh, you will adjust the nitrogen flow up to 200 using this glass rotameter up to 200 then uh, you will wait 
for five minutes, something about what five minutes, and then nitrogen gas coming here, going to the pyrogallal. Pyrogallal absorbs oxygen from the nitrogen, and then the gas will come to the U YouTube. Uh, uh, in YouTube, there is a silica gel. It it will absorbs the humidity of the gas, and it will come into the uh, quartz uh, tube and it will purge the oxygen uh, from uh, the inside of this tube and it will be completely empty from the air and oxygen.